Question 6. An aqueous solution of copper 2 sulfate is blue color due to the presence of hexa aqua copper 2 ion. Okay, so I try to let you know the name of the complex ion. Uh, for the copper complex ion, there are three most common uh, complex ion. So first is this one, the copper with six water ligand. So this we call hexa aqua copper two ion. Another uh, common complex ion of copper is tetra coral cuprate two ion. Okay, the copper with four correct ligand. Another uh, common complex ion is tetra amine di aqua copper two ion, which is this one. Okay, A part one. Write an equation for the reactions between uh, the hexa aqua copper two ion and the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so this one is the uh, ligands exchange. The hydroxide will substitute two uh, H2O in the hexa aqua copper two ion, then it will form this copper hydroxide. This is a precipitate. Uh, and uh, of course the two uh, H2O molecules has been substituted so here you need to put plus two H2O okay part two write an equations for the reactions between the hexa aqua copper two ion and the excess uh, of concentrated HCl okay so it will form a tetrahedral uh, complex ion okay which we call tetra cuprate two ion this one Okay, all the correct ion will substitute the H2O in this uh, complex ion. Okay, then it will form this new complex ion. Okay. So of course all the uh, six H2O uh, uh, will be substituted. Right. So now this is the uh, new complex that form. Okay, B, if an excess ammonia is added to a solution of this hexa aqua copper 2 ion, a deep blue solution containing um, this complex ion, okay, this we call again tetraamine, this one, because ammonia uh, uh, is a uh, four ammonia here, and di aqua means two H2O here, okay, copper 2 ion. So this is a name for the complex ion, but you no need to really know uh, how to name that. Uh, so you just uh, need to know the, how to uh, get the formulas or the and the equations correct like this. Okay, part one. There are two possible stereo isomers with this uh, the with the formula uh, of this tetra I mean di aqua copper two uh, ion. Uh, so this one because uh, all the ligands they are monodentate ligand. So if you most likely it will not uh, form the optical isomerism. Mostly it will form cis trans isomer. Right, so uh, we are quite sure that now the stereo isomer, it means the cis trans isomer. Okay, complete the diagram to show the two stereo isomers in the boxes below. Uh, remember uh, uh, to draw the 3D uh, complex ion. Okay, uh, so for the trans is very easy. Um, we just uh, look at the uh, H2O ligand, which is easier. When the H2O ligand they are opposite, means the bond angle between them right is 180. So this one is trans because they are not at the same side. And of course another isomer will be cis. So the H2O ligand now they are at, uh, at the same side, means the bond angle is 90. Yeah, so this is the cis and trans isomer that can be formed by this complex ion. Part two, you should answer in the part one to deduce whether each of these isomer is polar or non-polar. Polar or non-polar is uh, depends on whether the dipoles cancel or not. Okay. For the trans uh, isomer, we know that all these uh, the ligand, the same ligand actually they are opposite, means the dipoles will cancel out. 
each other so it won't has uh, it won't have any net dipoles at the end so so that's why the trans isomer means the isomer one in this case it will be non-polar because the dipoles cancel okay because the opposite ligand they are the same ligand for the isomer 2 which is a cis isomer we know that the h2o and the ammonia now they are different ligand of course it won't really have the uh, this uh, cancellation of dipole right so it must have some dipoles there therefore this isomer will be a polar isomer because the dipoles not really not totally cancelled Part C, the cast step of the this uh, tetraamine diaqua copper two ion given, which is a uh, one point four times ten power of, uh, thirteen. Okay, this is quite high. It's showing that this uh, complex ion is relatively more stable than the hexa aqua uh, copper two ion. Okay, part one, define stability constant. Okay, so I use this one as example. It's easier. Okay, the equilibrium constant for the formations of the complex ion in the sovereign from its constituents ion. Okay, in order to have this uh, care step, of course, you need to have equilibrium. So you need to form equilibrium between the new complex ion that form to the complex ion that it's from. Means, in this case, the constituent ion is the hexa aqua copper 2 ion. And how much is formed, it depends on how stable of this complex ion. If this complex ion is more stable, then it will form more. Its concentration is higher, so the care step is higher. So this is the meanings of the care step, care stability. Compare the stability of uh, this uh, hexa aqua copper 2 and this uh, uh, tetra amine di aqua copper 2 I, uh, complex ion. So, this one uh, I told you just now because the values uh, for the care step is quite high, is telling us that this one is, has a higher number uh, because the care step is more than one. Right? So, we know that this. This complex ion is relatively this one is relatively more stable than this hexa aqua copper two, right? So therefore, we know that this one is more stable. Okay, as the care step is large. Okay, part three. Write an expression for the care step uh, of this uh, uh, complex ion. Very easy. Uh, we just use uh, the previous equilibrium. We use the products concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactant. Uh, we need to consider the coefficient as well, because uh, the power of these uh, these uh, the species or the concentration will depends on this coefficient. Uh, of course, we don't really uh, include the H2O, right? So we just include the uh, complex ion and ligands in this case. Okay, so therefore the expression will be this one right it's a product over the two reactants right so ammonia need to power four right because coefficient is four just now okay so after that you can form the unit so this unit is more per dm cube so this is the mole power five dm power negative 15. So at the end, you get this, this unit. Mole, power negative 4, dm, power chart. Okay, part 4. In the particular solution, uh, the concentration of this uh, tetraamine diaqua copper 2 ion is uh, 0 0.0047. And the concentration of ammonia is 0 0.57. Use your expression in part 3, this one. And the care step that given, calculate the concentration of the hexa aqua copper 2, means this one. So it means you have to switch this care step and the hexa aqua copper 2 ion. Okay, substitute every uh, uh, the numbers uh, or the values that given. So you get this 
0.01 times 10 power negative 15. So this is the concentration for the hexa aqua copper 2 ion. Okay, the last one. <clears throat> Finland taurine, this and the uh, ethane dioid ion. Okay, they are bidentate ligand. Means in these two uh, ligands, it has two donor atoms, which can form two dative bond with the metal ion. Okay, now ruthenium ion can form octahedral complex with uh, phenanthorine, the first one, and correct ion. The complex ion it contains two phenanthorine molecules. Uh, two bidentate means the remaining must be the correct. So it's, it's going to be another two correct there. So in the complex ion. So it means two uh, phenanthorine and two correct in there. Okay, which look like this. So ruthenium with this bidentate ligand, okay, two bidentate ligand, okay, and two correct because it need to form six dative bond, or it need to have six coordination number, okay, as is mentioned octahedral complex. Okay, so deduce formula and the charge, so you should know how to do it. Um, so for this one, because we know that phenanthorin is neutral, and the chloride is negative. 2 chloride, so it's a negative 2. Ruthenium is a 3 positive, so at the end it's just positive. Right. Okay, and another one is iron 3 ions form octahedral complex with the ethane dioid ion only. So octahedral complex also you need to form six dative bonds, means you need to use or we need to form uh, six dative bond with three uh, bidentate ligand. So in this case, it's ethane dioid ion. So it means it look like this. The iron three ion will, <coughs> will form complex ion with three ethane dioid ions, right? So, and the charge, of course, okay, this one is negative two, and this one, okay, negative two times three, and this is positive 3. So the net charge will be 3 negative. Okay, so that's all for this question. Thank you. I hope you understand.